guys, what's up? So today, um, I'm gonna be filming this look. I don't know if I'm filming the intro yet, but <clears throat> I'm doing a halo eye with the modern renaissance. I've used this palette so many freaking times, but um, I just think you can do so many different looks with it. I did one eye and my eyebrows off camera. My eyebrows are looking a little busted today, but that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Beige. And then I'm gonna set that with RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, y'all, I was really craving pickles and I started eating some pickle relish because I don't have any. Uh, so I was like eating pickle relish out of the jar. And y'all, I freaking love pickles. That's so random, but like, pickles are the best. They're just so freaking good and like, well. It was only a month ago that I figured out that they were cucumbers. But they're like pickled cucumbers. We should learn to like that in school, honestly, because I was so intrigued by that. Yeah. And if you're wondering, like, since I love pickles so much, if you're wondering, like, what pickles to buy me, I like kosher and dill. I don't discriminate. I like all kinds of pickles. Um, yeah. To start off for my transition color, I'm going to go in with the Boone Boon Fresco. How do you say that? Oh, look, it's me. Those eyelashes. Ooh. I see you, Rachel. Okay. For halo eyes, you don't re really bring it up that much. You're gonna wanna focus on the outer corners first, your outer and inner corner, and then bring it around. And for halo eyes, like, especially on the outer corner, since it's more definition over here, the more shades you have, the more blended it looks and the more Halo-ish looking it looks. And y'all, I got my lashes on on the first try today. Woo woo, up in the, let's get lit. Ooh, first try. Cut them. Watch them fall off by the end of this video, but whatever. Oh, I didn't even say, okay. I'm using E27. I never even said I was using it, but yeah, I'm using E27. The burgundy colors, they're kind of a little harder to blend, so they're gonna take me a while, so excuse that. But I'm gonna go in with Love Letter. And I'm going to use my Morphe M505. And I'm going to place it first on the outer corners of my eyes like this. Or outer and inner corner. I don't have more than one outer corner of my eye. but And then I'm going to start blending it up. Hold on, I need to take a break. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I almost drowned. Excuse me. I'm also going to go back in with my E27. And I'm going to go back with the Bidouin Fresco color. I don't know how to say it. Don't attack. And I'm going to go over it and make it more blended. Man, I always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. Yeah, we made it. Y'all, Post Malone is my soulmate. He's like, he's not um what's the word um he's not cole sprouse he looks kind of crazy sometimes but like look at me he's my soulmate and mostly because y'all his personality is freaking the best he likes water burger he goes for the cowboys oh yes and his music is my jam i love my posty with red ochre and the m505 again and I'm gonna do the same thing I was doing the other two colors and start on the outer corner and bring it up and then you go back and forth. It's okay if you get it on the lid, but try not to. I I obviously did, but you're gonna wanna leave as much as it as you can a little blank, you know? So now with my wet and wild, I don't know what the word is because it's covered up with the sticker and I'm not about to take the sticker off because I have a really big fear of stickers. Stickers scare me and they gross me out like I cringe so much when I, stickers are around. But anyway and also just a heads up this I've had this palette for a while and this black in here the best black eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. Like, like if black is important to you or you love smoky eyes, this is like the best black eyeshadow out there. At least from, from what I've used. Because a lot of times, blacks can be really chalky and they won't blend well. But this is so good. Like, I don't know why I was doing this because it's chalky. But like, ah. 
That's all I have to describe it. It's like... So, I'm going to use this burgundy color. I'm using my M506. I use this for defining anything. I'm going to start off from the, the outside. I'm not going to bring it up yet. I'm just focusing this on my crease. That was glitter. I shouldn't have eaten that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for putting on the concealer to shape out the halo effect. And I'm using my shape tape to do that. Where the empty space was. Sorry, I have to like leave my eyes closed for a second. Mm, sorry. With my modern renaissance, my eyes probably glitching a lot. Okay, so with this flat brush from a Morphe set, I look crazy, don't even tell me. Okay, I look, I'm gonna use this Primavera <laughs> shimmer shade. And I'm, I'm struggling so much. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that over. Okay, and I'm gonna go on with my Morphe M5 M506. And then the same, the same shade I used in the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit on the... Halo eyes? I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Why do I have followers? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush I used with the concealer. I'm gonna use my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm gonna put that over top the shimmer shade. Now this is where I sit. I always do this. And it's kind of where I talk to you guys, and I hope you don't mind. Y'all, I have these moods, like, if you don't, if you do makeup and you do this, great, I'm relatable. But if you don't do makeup, or if, and if you do, but if you do do makeup, and you don't feel this way, then I guess I'm just my, I'm just kind of, you know, um, maybe, it's just me. I have these moods, like, random swings where, like, I have the urge to do makeup. Like, I, like, I, I want to do it so bad. Like, I can't contain myself. And that was, I had one of those moods today. Ugh, and I just wanted to film so bad and do a makeup story. I, I want to do makeup so bad. I have these, like, swings. They come to me. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Now I'm going to put the glitter on. Using Golden Tiara by Bulk Glitters. People are asking me where you get these. You get them at bulkglitters.com. I also have super glitters where it's the same products, but you don't buy in bulk. But, like, I would buy in bulk just because... The super glitter store kind of closes if they have limited supply. And um, why would you only want one of their glitters? Because I have like three of each one and I am using them all. So, oh no, they fell. And I'm just packing this on. Pretty self explanatory. Glitter goes everywhere. But it's worth it because I look cute. <laughs> just kidding, I look crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna start cleaning around my workspace because I love when things are in order, so I gotta fix myself for a second because it'll annoy the tar out of me. I'm gonna have to tease you later. I wish I could redo my eyebrows. I don't like them today, but... Uh... Ow, that hurt my neck. Can you see my head shaking? I think someone necked me too hard because I can, like... I can, like, when I move it like this, you can hear it. Can you hear it? I don't think you can hear it. <laughs> I look so... <laughs> I look out of it. I look crazy. Okay, so I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. And I'm going to waterline my eyes. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then use this sample of the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. It's really good. And then for lashes, I'm going with, with these Dodo Lashes in D115. Oh, wow. What a flop. Interesting. You're not like your sister. So salty when I put on lashes. I don't want to go up and rinse my beauty blender underwater, so I'm gonna get my my uh, my water, and I'm gonna pour primer. I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Prep HD Studio mm -hmm. Face Primer. Did you see that fly out of it? I'm only gonna do concealer today. That's gonna get on my nerves because I don't like just putting on concealer when I'm doing. Uh, Eyeshadow looks and makeup tutorials on YouTube, but it's almost 10 o'clock. 
I don't want to put on foundation especially when I'm about to go to sleep. So sorry. But if you want to see how I do my foundation, I did it in my last video. So I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape with Inter Beige. And I'm going to conceal with that. I'm going to use the RCMA powder and I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to press it in with an e.l.f. highlighting brush. And then I'm going to bronze with my... This is the Morphe brush from the set. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild contour palette thing. Or contour palette. Contour and palette contour. Yeah. With my Morphe M510, I'm going to go with my Anastasia Glow Kit, the spun dipped one, and I'm going to highlight. Okay, so that was it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, that was this, sorry, this is kind of rushed, but I kind of have to go to sleep. So, and you guys can go follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you want. I'll see you guys on my next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed and bye.